Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome to this week's devotional video. I've been thinking recently, there are times that God asks us to take big steps. He asks us to do big things. He asks us to step out in faith and trust him. How do we handle that? What do we do in those moments? Well, I can tell you from experience. See, God's been dealing with me recently about a step he'd like me to take. I'm not going to get into all that right now. We'll just say God's asked me to take a step. Last weekend, I said, okay, I've got some time here. Let's look into this. What would this take if God really wants me to do this? I started looking into it, did, did some research, and at that time, things got real. I got scared. I stopped my research. I laid down. I took a nap. <laughs> Full disclosure, I took a nap. I got scared. What do we do in those moments? What do we do when God asks us to take those steps? Friends, we got to remember who our God really is. And we need to remember what he says to us. With that in mind, I'd like to begin our devotional today in the book of Joshua, verse, uh, chapter 1, verses 1 through 9. Here we read, Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Here it is, Joshua. Here's the big thing. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take the step. I want you to lead the people. Now, this is a big moment for Joshua. He's well aware that he is not Moses. He's been with Moses. He's been in the presence of Moses. He was with Moses on the mount. He saw big things with God. But Joshua is not Moses. So maybe he's got this moment here when God asks him to do the big thing. Maybe he's got some hesitation. Maybe he's dealing with a little bit of fear. Maybe he wants to lay down and take a nap because he's a bit overwhelmed. But God goes on and speaks to him. Verse 3, he says, Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. Notice the way God's speaking of it. He's talking about it like it's already done. Joshua, the land is yours. Every place you go is yours. I've asked you to go here. You're going to go there. It belongs to you. Every place you go is yours. And all of this is yours. Here are the borders. It's big. It's a big dream, it's a big promise, it's a big plan, but Joshua, you're going to go there, it's going to belong to you. It is yours. Step out and claim it. Verse 5, the Lord says to Joshua, There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. So many times we get hung up on what people are going to think, what people are going to say. Oh, what are you doing? You're taking that step? You're stepping out in faith? Wow, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of scary. I don't know if you can do that. Friends, why are we listening? Why are we listening to that kind of talk? Friends, if God has asked us to do it, let's do it. And if we're worried about opposition, if we're worried about people who are actually going to, to come against us, who are going to stand against us, who are going to oppose us, enemies, why are we worried? God is with us. God is for us. And if God has asked us to, to do the big thing, to take the big step, be strong, be courageous, take the step. Step out in faith and do it. Verse 6, the Lord says, Be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Again, the Lord says, Be strong and courageous strong and courageous. You will divide the land. The Lord is calling it like it's already done. The Lord sees the end from the beginning. 
Friend, whatever he's spoken to you, whatever big thing God is asking you to do, he knows how it's going to happen. He sees the beginning of it. He sees every step you're going to take along the way. He sees how it's going to end. He ha- and, and he has an expected end. He knows how this is all going to turn out. Friend, God's asked you to take a step into your promised land. You're going to do it. You are going to divide the land. You are going to be successful. Walk with God. Talk with God. Trust God. Let him lead you and guide you, and he'll help you. Verses 7 and 8. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses thy servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Friends, this is so important. You want to be strong? You want to be courageous? You want to take the big step? Stay in the Word. Stay in the Word of God. Study it daily. Read it daily. Get it deep in your heart. Get it deep in your mind. Love the Word. Understand the Word. Stand on the Word and His promises. There are so many things that want to speak negativity and doubt and distraction and fear into our lives. Those are the things that weaken us. Those are the things that that, that keep us from taking those steps. Those are the things that make us just close things up and lay down and take a nap when God is saying, or excuse me, when God is saying, step out, take the step, do the big thing. Friends, stay in the word. Believe what God says to you. Believe what he's promised you. Believe that he is with you and he is for you and he is leading you. If he's told you to step into something, just like Joshua, he's going to be with you. Verse 9, the Lord says, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. This is so important. Have not I commanded thee. At that moment last weekend, when God asked me to take that step, and I was dealing with fear, what helped me from that point was feeling that the Lord said to me, if I asked you to do it, why are you afraid? If I asked you to do it, why are you afraid? He's basically saying the same thing to Joshua. Have not I commanded thee? Joshua, I asked you to do it. Because I asked you to do it, you're going to be successful. You are going to be victorious. You are going to go into the promised land. You are going to face every enemy. You are going to defeat every enemy. You are going to conquer. You are going to overcome. You are going to enjoy your victory. Friends, be strong. Be courageous. Take the big step. Trust God. He is with you. He is for you. He is in you. Just step out in faith. Whatever he's asked you to do, do it. Just do it. Every place he's asked you to go is yours. Fear no one. Know that you've won the victory already. Stay in the word. Stay encouraged. You've already won because the Lord is with you. God bless you all. I hope this video has been uh, an, an encouragement to you. We will see you on Sunday.